Okay, so here's a hip. This is the whole hip. So for the sirloin tip, an easy way to do it is, if you look on the side, you'll see this white line. So that's the seam of it. And then this is the knuckle of it. So to make it an easy pull on that, you can take that joint right out. Or you can just peel the front part off of that. Now right at the bottom of the joint, go in, go right back to that seam. So you're going to run on that seam and right against the bone. See how the bone is there, the tip bone? So I'm right more or less on that seam and on the bone. Now go down, follow that down, and the joint of the hip will actually stop your knife. Then go out about, say, one knife blade, inch and a half or so, just past that, and then come out on a bit of an angle to the downward side. And that'll take out your sirloin tip. So now we got your hip. So here's the tenderloin. And this will be your sirloin steaks. So you could take and cut it across right here. And if you cut it across there, just go down on a bit of an angle. See that angle? So it's about two fingers, more or less, past the, the uh, H-bone. And then down just on a bit of an angle. It'll be a natural angle, like that. So just look at this and go about that. So I'm going to pull this little tenderloin out right now. Just trim up some of this so I can see it. So this is a hip and a sirloin butt. Now you can see where the bone is here. So just follow that bone down. In and around. And it's going to also open up right at that seam. So just pull not really hard on it because you don't want you can rip the meat so just pull on a little bit follow it around and down into this bottom part see how it's just kind of opening up there for me and follow around that bone release it here There's your tenderloin. That's actually called a butt tenderloin. So now what we'll do is, well, I've got a metal blade, just a short metal blade in the sawzall. So again, just down a couple inches past there. If they had someone to hold it, it'd be better. But... There's only one bone there. And a little bit of the tailbone. So now I'm going to separate this sirloin butt. That's just to give me a bit of a handle. And there's your sirloin butt. So that's sirloin steaks. So now this hip I'm going to strip right on the rail. Now here, I'm just going to run right along this bone. That just will peel out. Then I'm going to just cut back into along the edge of the bone. Down and then just around the knuckle part here. And in, and then just a little slice, not too deep, along that bone there. Same on this side. Again, don't go too deep because you're just trying to get to the back of the bone. So now on here, if I loosen this off, it should all hang just by that little strap on there and that'll loosen it and it'll hang really nice for you. So now make a cut across here, 
follow the front of that bone. Again, you're just trying to get around to the back of it. Then on this side, same thing. Just follow around that bone. A little bit of pressure always helps. Just like when you're skinny. Pull with your left hand on the meat or the hide. It'll show you a natural seam on it. Now I'm just following around that bone where I loosened it off a little bit. And then just loosening it off. See it's all falling down there now. And then just following down under that little knob of that bone. Looks like I might be getting too low. So I'm going to cut this shank off. I put sawdust on the floor to catch all the blood and drippings. So now I'm on the back of this now. So I'm just running around over this little hump here. And you're not going to believe what's going to hold this up. But I'll show you. So now, if you can see in there, the only thing that's holding it up is the little tendon. So you just put your arm across it, cradle it, and there she goes. There's the hip off. And that's pretty much ready to go. So the only thing that was holding that whole hip there is that. So that's one way to do it. Now we'll show you another way to do it.